In this video, we're diving into a crucial concept in working with AI, particularly ChatGPT, called role prompting. So what is role prompting? Imagine you're a director and the AI is your actor. You can provide a role to the AI and it will respond based on that role. These roles can vary significantly, ranging from a historian discussing the impact of past pandemics to a technical expert explaining a complex medical device. This adaptability can be especially beneficial in medicine. For example, you might want to present a case study to a colleague, but struggle to convey it from a neurologist's perspective. You could ask ChatGPT to take on the role of a neurologist and write the case study for you, providing insights you may not have otherwise had. By assigning a role to the AI, we're able to harness its vast training data to present the material in a way that's specific to that role's domain. It's like having an expert consultant right at your fingertips. Some roles commonly used with ChatGPT are things like writer, editor, and university professor. You can give the AI a prompt like, act as a writer or act as an editor, or you could tell it to act as a USMLE question writer if you wanted it to act as a United States medical licensing exam writer, and so forth. You can also add parameters to your role prompts. Parameters provide guidance that help the AI understand the context of what's expected in its response, and I use them almost all the time in my prompts. One such parameter would be to tell the AI what type of text or output I want from it. Here are some examples. An essay, an email, a letter, multiple choice questions, a contract, a poem, or whatever else you want. I usually write something like, act as a writer, and type of text, email. Then you should tell the AI what style and what tone it should be using. You can instruct it on style, tone, or both. Here are some options for style. Academic, creative, descriptive, scientific, and technical. Some options for tone include humorous, respectful, friendly, assertive, professional, and casual. So to complete your prompt, you could then write act as writer, type of text, email, tone, casual. Next, you might want to tell the AI what output language to use. In this case, I chose output language to be English US. Another super useful parameter that I use almost all the time is reader comprehension. Continuing with our previous example, you could specify something like reader comprehension 5 years old or reader comprehension 10 years old or reader comprehension 25 years old. You get the point. As you can imagine, choosing 5 years old will result in the AI coming up with analogies that put the information into very simple terms. You can try it out. Ask ChatGPT to explain special relativity to a 5-year-old and see what it does. Moving on with the same prompt we used earlier, you can further specify the reader comprehension parameter by adding advanced, assume extensive prior knowledge, intermediate, assume some prior knowledge, or beginner, assume no prior knowledge. You can also add details such as first year medical resident. Then you could specify the length with something like length 200 words. And of course, you should obviously tell the AI what it should do. In other words, what the task is. For example, task, write an email introducing MedMastery to a professor. Another thing you can do is define the type of output you want to get with things like output numbered list. Alternatively, you might say output table. If you want the AI to work with some of your own text, then you could tell it use my text and then insert your text within the square brackets. Let's try it out. Here's what we pick. Act as writer, type of text email, style academic, tone professional, language English US, reader comprehension PhD graduate, length 100 words, output, you can leave this blank if it's not needed, use my text, yo buddy, my mastery is a pretty damn sweet app. Here's what we get.
That's pretty sweet, I would say. And here's another thing you can do. You can provide it with more context. You could say this. Here's the prompt from before. Feel free to pause the video to read it again if you need to. You could now add context, something like this. The Mastery is a clinical skills training platform. They teach the most important skills so clinicians can solve over 90% of patient problems without the help of a more senior colleague. So here's what we get. That's pretty amazing, don't you think? But we're not done yet. Coming up next is a highly useful prompting technique that I think you'll use a lot. 